Hey everyone, Travis here from the Gateway Air Guns website. Uh, Rick and I are uh, here today working out all the bugs and um, getting all the equipment set up for uh, the upcoming Air Gun Expo 2021. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, this is something we've been planning for a while. A long know? while, yeah. Once we found out SHOT Show, in fact, we found out SHOT Show was canceled and Travis is on the phone so we got to do something. Right away. Right away. And because <clears throat> you guys get to get all your air gun fix with what we would normally be talking about from SHOT Show. Right. And uh, there is no SHOT Show. There is not. In fact, it just passed. If it was going to be one, they just had it. Yeah. But no SHOT Show. So how did we then get the word out? Well, we thought, let's do our own virtual show, right? Right. Well, you know, we got uh, social distancing going on. Yep. And, um, and so everyone can't gather together anyway, even if there was a SHOT Show. So we're going to do it all for you here um, in West Texas. Uh, where it's uh, beautiful weather. It's and chilly today. Today is, uh, yeah, thank God I got my heated vest on. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's a lot better than at my house where it's uh, 18 <laughs> degrees and eight feet of snow. So, yeah. Um, I'll take this. Yeah, we'll take this I mean, any day of the week. In the sunshine, it's gorgeous. Yeah, but, it's, uh, it's not bad. Yeah. yeah. In here, it's a little, little chilly. Yeah. So, what we need you guys to do, uh, this is a, this is like beta. This, I don't think this is like alpha. I mean, yeah. we haven't even, it's the first time I've tried doing something like this outside so we're obviously outside in the uh, environment yeah and we've got multiple wind. cameras and all kinds of things going on and we're trying to see is this going to work so we actually are doing this live today correct uh, for a couple reasons one uh you know we're trying to get as many people involved as possible absolutely and they go uh, well how are you going to do a live range day rick and i'm or travis and we go well this we do it this way and like uh, we don't get it and so rather than try to explain it, we just do it. Yeah, and we just show you. We just show you how we're going to do it. And so uh, what we got here, uh, let's, we'll get to that in just a minute. But um, I mean, ideally what we're going to have is we're going to talk about some stuff here. And then one or both of us are going to go to that table and do some shooting and just walk you through the specifics of what we're shooting out. One of the cool things about SHOT Show was range day. I yeah. loved going to range day because you got to actually shoot stuff. Now, there wasn't a big air gun contingent there. There was like uh, that's two a, people. Yeah, that's that's an understatement. Yeah, so, uh, you know, of the hundreds of people there, there were two companies. Ten, tens of thousands of people show up and, every single day and, and two, two, people, two guns. Yeah, two the, air gun companies at range day. At so, range day. Um, there's so many cool new air guns. And I, I know you guys can't, like, physically be here to put your hands on them. But we're gonna do the best we can. That's right. We're gonna show to you. Tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you about them. Show you about them. We the got features, how they shoot, yeah, actually, all of that kind of stuff. And you know, we have a different perspective. Yeah, we got two two totally different perspectives on things. So, which works so good. We'll just say that um, Travis is more critically discerning. A little and, bit. And I am like, <laughs> does it shoot? <laughs> and so uh, I don't know that maybe we'll get him to shoot some of the big heavy springers. That'll be yeah. fun. And we'll seem like a catapult right up the tree. There goes Travis. <laughs> yeah. um, but no. But um, I'll probably do the springers yeah. and let you do the pieces. Yeah, I'm a bit of an air gun snob. I admit it. Yeah. You know, there's we're we're going to mix it. it up. Yeah. Right. Well. Um, so let's uh, let's do this. I'm going to check. Right now, we're kind of running Crippled Biscuit because my board operator that should be here helping us with this will be down in a little bit. So right at this time, here we are. Look at that live. Check it out. Hey, hey we're live. Check. That's us. Right now, I'm going to turn this down. Running. Oop, there yeah, it is. that'll mess you all. Yeah, up. that'll mess me all up. Okay, so we are. Hey, that actually looks pretty good. I mean, considering the uh, subject matter, it. I mean, <laughs> it is us. But the beautiful thing, though, about the Air Gun Expo is, um, uh, unlike Shot Show, you're going to see the gun live in person as we shoot it on that day with the ammo. So you're going to know exactly what it sounds yeah. like, what it feels like, so how cool. it shoots. Um, we're going to tell you what ammo works best in it, so there's no guessing. We're not going to try to shoot 10 kinds of ammo that don't shoot well to <laughs> finally get to one. That, we're going to pre-shoot them, let it, find out what shoots well. Then we're going to come out here. Uh, we're going to mount them with some uh, Hawk scopes yeah. um, from our boys at Hawk. <clears throat> we have tons of their equipment. their spotting scopes, Rebel HD cameras. Everything's going to be set up, in, and you're just going to be able to sit back and watch multiple cameras as we uh, have our show. We'll have tons of um, different guns and equipment set up. So yeah. it's not going to be a one one show pony kind of no, thing. No, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And in, in between segments, because we'll need time to reset, but we're uh, really ideally, we want to show some other sort of ads and 
previews of other products from companies. So it's going to be an event, okay? So we're looking at multiple days. Yeah, it's a week-long event, Yeah, now, just like SHOT Show. And so it's, I'm, I'm pretty excited. We haven't really set the date yet, but I think once we get this done and people can see what we're looking to accomplish, I think that'll give them a real clarity on you know, what they're going to get out of it. And right. I think whether you're a uh, consumer or a viewer just loving air guns, you're going to get a lot out of it. But if you're a company that you've got this new gun and there's no shot show. Yeah, how are you uh, going to show it to anybody? Yeah, now you actually can really quick, quickly and easily get that not only here on the bench where people can see it in operation, but also we're going to be able to take it and have some studio time with it and really kind of get in the nuts and nuts and bolts of all of these right. things too. So we've got we've got multiple elements. We've got the live range day. Yep. We've got the studio stuff, which we're mm -hmm. going to do some of those. Should probably shoot those tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, and all of this stuff will be live at the time. I mean, the intention is it'll be live during the during the expo on the Gateway to Air Guns Facebook page. That's correct. And so I'll make sure to put that link. If you guys haven't followed that or joined that, boy, you got to get on it. You so, got to get to the GTA. Yeah, you got to Gateway to Air Guns. That that's really who's doing this. It's this is a Gateway to Air Guns event. I'm helping out with all the technical stuff. You should see the wires and plugs yeah. and, and <laughs> mixers and all kinds yeah, of cool stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going it's, on here. I love that. But um so uh, yeah, okay, so uh, our video is breaking up a little bit. That's all right. We're going to do the best we can here uh, with our crippled biscuit internet at this point. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll have better internet when the time comes along. But for right now, uh, when you guys are going to see this live during the expo, it'll be on the Gateway to Air Guns. But here's the cool thing. Because the internet is what it is, mm -hmm. <laughs> no matter where you are, uh, we're also recording all of these. So they'll That's be right. edited and then distributed after the fact. So it's going to be... Even if you don't get it live, right, uh, you're gonna be able to see it in all of its if, if you're working, yeah, yeah, you're working that day, or you know, who knows what's going on in your life. You can uh, go go to the website, the Gateway to Air Guns website, and yeah. uh, look at it, just, and and you can fast forward it and back. Yeah, back it'll, be, it up it'll be fun. And well, just find, have, what, find what you need to find. We're gonna have a lot of fun with what this. you're interested yeah. in. Yeah. All right. So, and you know, I almost forgot the website. Duh. Go to, if you want to see like the dates and who's participating and that kind of stuff, go to theairgunexpo.com. That's right. And if you are interested and and being part of it, you can fill out a form. We'll get in touch with you and we'll figure out you know how to get you on the on the expo, whether it's a range day or studio, or we've got other things or that both. you guys yeah. Can, yeah, or both other things you guys can sponsor if you want to participate and help support getting the word out, you know, we really could use your help. So this is what we're doing. Is this is right now, this is just out of our pocket. I mean, yeah. This is just we love the sport. We want to get the information out and hopefully you guys yeah, will enjoy it too. There's a ton of product out there and a ton of guns, a ton of uh, just a lot of stuff and and really nobody can view it, witness it. Yeah. Get, Other than doing it. reviews, you know, individual reviews, which is fine, which is, you know, I love reviews and stuff too, but it's a whole lot different when you're live with a couple guys, you know, at the range, actually shooting it that day. Yeah. You Especially know, with different perspectives. With so, two totally yeah. different perspectives, and that'll be the same way as we go inside too and uh, yeah. look, look over the different <laughs> equipment. <laughs> I, I've got some guns I, I'm looking forward for Travis to shoot. Yeah. His sense of the little ears so, and all. So much looking forward to it. <laughs> Anyway, let's uh, let's talk about our first gun. So I'm gonna grab this right okay. here. Okay. So um, first of all, there is a review of this already on Gateway Air Guns. I did a grip review yeah, for this gun for the so Caden. This is the Benjamin Caden. Uh, Crossman said, "Hey, we got some new guns. We want to check it out." I believe this is made by Crawl out of Turkey. And I gotta, you know, give Crossman credit. You know, why reinvent the wheel? Yeah. If you've got something that's pretty doggone good, and you can add your little little bit to it to make it better yeah uh, I think you would say this was better than you thought it was gonna be it is better than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, and today was the first day I actually shot this gun and um, I was really interested in in their departure from their normal in-house and uh, going overseas and picking up some product and uh, and making it their own and I was uh, pleasantly surprised at one how well it shot yeah. and two, the fit and finish is a lot better than I thought it was gonna be yeah yeah, even even with the muzzle brake, you know, I was telling you earlier, yeah. I hate loud guns. Absolutely despise them. <laughs> so, <laughs> and that's kind of our thing, you know. He, he's one he of those guys. It. He's yeah. one of those guys. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It's, be, it's meant to do that. Yeah. Uh, tough. He's one of those guys that uh, the Marauder's pretty quiet, but he's got like an adapter to make the Marauder quieter. 
Uh, I go, I get it. But that's, <laughs> yeah. that's Travis. He yeah, wants to really be quiet. I want no noise. But anyway, so this is actually super quiet. And if it's not quiet enough for you, like me, then it has a half 20 UNF adapter under the mu muzzle brake. So you just unscrew that bad boy right there and grab you a Donnie FL or, you know, whatever you got. We love Donnie. You know, he's, yeah, he's, he's one stuff? of our boys. And, uh, yeah, you screw that right on there and and uh, off you go. Bob's your uncle. It's de you it's deadly quiet now. Deadly very, quiet. Very, very quiet. Yeah, well within my <laughs> spectrum of happiness. So uh, they're telling us we've got some breaking up going on, you know, uh, doing what we can. Uh, yeah, this is just a test. Fortunately, we've got. Uh, this being recorded on uh, HDMI out. So hopefully everything will be good. We'll be able to post this up after the fact. You guys can catch it. It'll be awesome. Yeah. We can throw this right up on the GTA YouTube page, really. Yeah. That'll be what we can do. Yeah. All right. So uh, the things I liked about this gun, one is it's very simple. It's not regulated. Uh, I know people like, I want a regulated. Uh -huh. Look, I generally like a regulated gun. But here's so my theory. <laughs> this is more studio time. Maybe I'll save it for, I'll save it for the studio. I'm not going to tell you what I think about it. I'm going to wait on the whole regulator thing. Uh, but as far as the review, taking a look at it on the bench here, um, I do really love what they've done with the cocking handle. The cocking it, it, it is It really smooth. has a fantastic side lever it, it, action. They did a great job with that. It's 3,000 PSI, so you don't need like to go super wild on having to pump the thing up. It's got a good cylinder. you got a great shot count. High, <clears throat> um, big volume. Yeah, it's good, good volume. It's mm -hmm. actually just a really good gun. But you know what we need to know? is how does it shoot? That's the key. It could and look I'm like a thinking, Ferrari. I'm thinking I'm going to let you shoot it. Well, then I, I will do that. I'm going to go switch the cameras around. Okay. And uh, what I'll do is I'll keep my phone with me, and I'll let you sit. And then I want to shoot it, too, so you're not going to be the only one okay. having fun then here. Then I'll switch the cameras Then you'll switch around. the cameras around. All right, okay. so I'm going to give this to you, and we should be on safe. There it is. Yeah. There you are. You need air? You're no, pretty good. No. All right. Now, this thing's pretty stingy on air. Yeah, I found that too. All right, so I'm going to go back over here. Okay. Uh, all right, so. Get all the junk out of my pockets so I can actually sit down. I'm switch over to this camera. All right, so we got Travis here. Now, what you guys will notice is over there on the left is our Hawk spotting scope. And I'm trying something new. And I'm going to push this button. Check this out here. Da -da, look at that. That is is the feed from our spotting scope live as we're watching uh, Travis can take some shots here. So that to me is stinking awesome. Okay, what are we on? Are we on the little white chicken? No, no, I'm, I'm on the, the target. Now, when I was shooting that, it was oh, shooting okay. a little bit low for me, but I don't know if that was my eyes. Well, look, I mean, it was dead nuts. It hit you know, the same thing. Well, I'm going to aim dead nuts on the red bullseye in the middle. All and, right. And then we'll just go from there. And then I'll And tell us, tell us, like, when you're doing this, tell me what you think of the, of, like, the trigger pull. Yeah. And Because they've got this really nice trigger on there, too. So. Yeah, it um, has a, it has a two-stage trigger. Um, it's adjustable. And right now, being as big of an air gun snob as I am, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I, the first stage is way too stiff for me i like a and, and this is my personal preference too you know i like a really soft first stage so when i pull when i'm touching it back i can hit the wall and not worry about setting off the second stage this has a pretty stiff first stage but that can be adjusted so this this gun just i'm shooting it just how it came from crossman right so we haven't made any adjustments right now this so my is snobbish really, opinion is based no, on yeah, this is what right i'm shooting out of the right box. here so yeah the right only the thing box. we've done is put the no moderator adjust. on it yeah right? we just put a moderator it. on and, and the scope and put air in it and that's it yeah uh we're shooting the uh 18.1 grain um aas air, air, air arms the air, air arms, arms pellets. yeah air arms pellets um they shoot great out of this gun um shoot great out of most guns actually but, yeah those are really good pellets um, and we're i'm shooting out of the uh hawk uh, sidewinder their new their new sidewinder which i love man i love this new hawk sidewinder in fact when i get home i'm probably going to order one because this is the first time i've seen one touched one or uh the first focal one. point on that what's really nice about that scope and and uh, maybe i can put some b-roll at some point because i've got some through the scope footage of that camera but that the reticle on that is so nice. Now, when I'm when you're zoomed all the way out, for me it's a little hard to see because it's so tiny. But as you bring that in, uh, it just it's not real thick lines. So like some of the first focal planes, when you zoom all the way in and that reticle comes in, 
It's like trying to parse two by fours yeah, yeah. over your target. That is not the way that scope is yeah. very, very nice. And it's got mil dot, half mil dot, <laughs> it's quarter and then mil extended dot. dots, you know. So it's it's <laughs> yeah. a and it's great. And you know, and it clicks really good. Yeah. It's got a swing lever. Um, it's just a really, really nice scope. It's got you know? the big sidewinder. Side, I've had sidewinders before, but this this is this is another step and up. And it's smaller and lighter and yeah. clearer. So they've reduced the weight. They've made it a lot better yeah. uh, all the way around. For, all right, enough you, talking. Hawk. Good for you, Hawk. Enough all right. talking. Shoot that down. All right, so we're going to, it looks like i got about a seven mile an hour side left to right. Yeah, let's see where she lands. All right, let's just put her on the red dot there, and we'll make our adjustments after that. Oh, you got the safety on. I did. Oh, good, good boy. Safety first. Good boy. Okay. Now let me make my adjustment. That wind's picking up a little bit. Yeah, it's getting it's getting really windy now, but we're going to work with it here. I gotta find me a point. Okay, somewhere in between there and there, and then we're and we're good to go. But listen how quiet this gun is. Oh man, with that Donny FL on it. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer, Rick. It's a little gusty, though. And this is uh, 50 yards, by the way. Yeah. There we go. There you go. All right. So we're right in that range right there. So let me just try to pick that spot up again. There we go. There it is. So there you go. It's uh, it's, it's Put another uh, one. Can you put yeah, yeah. another one on there? Put put. I mean, let's just show people this thing can drill. Yeah, yeah. Really, really good. Yeah, I'm just kind of wait between the gusts here because it's really it, the air's moving. I wish we had some flags out there. And that's that, these are things we're gonna you know work our way through now. So during the actual expo, we'll have this all figured out. But we need yeah. some rain socks. We do. Yeah, you're red in the red. Yeah. And that's and that's pretty darn good with that kind of breeze blowing. So. Well, I think the other thing we need to talk about on that particular gun is the price point because it is like, what, four fifty, five fifty? Yeah, it's got it's got to be like five fifty. You know, and I tell you, I paid that much just for stocks that look this good. Yeah, and the stock is gorgeous. It's <laughs> just got to the be rail honest with you. It. I mean, just to be honest with you, and uh, uh, yeah, the trigger's decent. It's decent. Um, uh, I know it can be adjusted, so I, I'll do that later. Uh, but uh, it feels good. The side lever is magic. It's it's about as good as, as good. They, as you they did a great get. job. They did a really yeah. really good job. And, and the wood stock, you know, with the stempling, it's beautiful. And it's got an adjustable cheek riser here yeah. too. I don't know if you can see that, but right here, this is an adjustable cheek riser. So we got uh, we got that in there, and uh, all at a really good price point. The magazines are typical. Crossman Marauder style. Um, yeah, we'll call them crawl mags because they're we'll really call, just a crawl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're good. I actually liked crawl guns. I mean, they were entry level sort of. Yeah, this is a step. PCPs, this is quite this a is, bit of a step, a step up, up, though. And I think they have a light, They have a longer warranty on these too. I'd have to look that up, but I bet you they have. Yeah, you. <laughs> You know, and it's weird when you put this magazine in. <laughs> and this yep. throws me off every single time. Yeah. It can only come in from the right side, and it comes in with the fat end first. Yeah, it's backwards. Which is, you normally, with every ma magazine I've ever had in the air, it was a thin end first. So every time I stick it up here, I, it's backwards. <laughs> yeah. So you got to turn it in, and then you got to shove it in sideways the opposite direction. So it's kind of a odd thing. I mean, it's something you just got to get used yeah, to. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's not a... Not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Okay, well, let me uh, let me go up to that top right one. All right. Let me. Uh, I was, well, well, save some for me. All right. All right. Let me uh, figure out where I was again here. I think I was three and one. Oh, a little high. Maybe it was two and one. The winds died down. Yeah. Well, I think I was two and one. So let me just. How about uh, one and three quarters and three quarters there we go there it is. I walked her in there for you yeah all right well that's pretty awesome yeah yeah it's it's very consistent boy is it quiet and you know you were talking about the regulators and um, 
one of the things that's really good about an unregulated gun, and this is for hunters mostly, a guy like myself who doesn't shoot a lot off the bench. Uh, well, actually I do, but. Uh, Your bench shooting is, is work. Yeah, that's work. <laughs> but when I'm out having fun, you know, when I'm out hunting and stuff, when you have an unregulated gun, you can make really rapid follow-up shots without worrying about being below the reg pressure, you know, because um, in a regulated gun, you got to a plenum. And if you shoot, you know, two or three shots really quick, what you're going to see is the plenum's not filling up all the way again between shots and you'll see a drop. But an unregulated gun like this, you can just shoot as fast as you want. And you're not going to see, well, you'll see a bell curve, you know, so the, the shot string will start slow, build up high and go down low. But this has a really, really small bell curve. So it's, 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 you can look if you want to see the review on it. You check it out on Gateway Air Guns. Go yeah. over there to the YouTube Go channel. Go check it out because it is it is. If, you, a, if a you're a hunter mistake. though, oh, this is know. probably much better than a regulated gun because you miss that tree squirrel in the first shot and he's running. You got to sling another one at him real quick. It's the speed isn't going to change. Yeah. You're not going to get a, a FPS drop, you know, because of the reg. Um, All right, it's my turn. Okay. Ta I'm going to tag in. All right, so Sue, what, what buttons can I push? Sue, can you show him how that works? My wife has come down <laughs> to let us know that the video is acting weird, which we know. Um, okay, what were you shooting there? Okay, buddy? so if you're aiming at the red dot on any of the targets, yep. you're going to be half a mil dot right, and you're going to be two mil dots high. Okay. Around in there. Around you'll, in you'll there. You'll find it. You only have one camera on you on this, right? Set up? No, I have three cameras, Sue. So, a little timeout. Doop. We have the main cam, that's camera one. Okay. That's camera two. Okay. That's camera three. So, I've got camera two is camera two is the main cam, and camera three is the picture in picture. Okay. So, um, he really shouldn't need to change anything until we go back to the main cam. We'll go back to camera, we'll take the picture picture off, okay. and then go back to camera one. All right. All right. Here we go. So, I can shoot this now? Yeah, you sure can. Um, are we ready for me to take a shot? Oh, you know, it's a 12-shot magazine, too. That's important to know. You know that? Yeah. See how smooth Gosh, that side lever nice. is? It's really, okay. It's really good. All right. So you said two and a half. Two right? up, one right. Oh, man. It's, it's not drifting over. I was... It, uh, the, the well, up and you, down was good. Yeah, the wind actually just switched the opposite <laughs> direction. Yeah, we're going to have to put, put socks up there. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Hold on, do it again. All day, baby. Hey, you know, what's really cool is watching the delay in the, in the video, hear the sound and see it shoot up there, and then watch the delay in the video. That is sweet, man. Yeah, that's great. I mean, and, <laughs> and what I was saying, like, once again, you took those shots fairly rapidly. Yeah. Um, in a regulated gun, that probably would have resulted in a in the pellet being below your hit point that you're on right now. I remember the first time I, I heard that happen. I was shooting an R10, BSA R10. Uh -huh. I took a shot, and I heard this and right in your ear, you can hear the plenum recharging, uh -huh. but it was a significant delay. You had to just let it recover. If yeah. you don't let it recover, then you could you could actually defeat the purpose of the regulator in the first place. Sure. Um, but this gun, the balance, oh, studio rig. That's save it. Save it for studio. <laughs> it. All right, so that's going to be it. We're going to switch out. We're going to go grab a different gun, guys. So we're going to stop the feed, and uh, hopefully the internet will will will. Uh, participate well with us in our next uh, our next live uh, but you know give us 20 minutes we're gonna be back with another gun because we're gonna be recording all these things doing some cool uh, little promo videos for excuse me the air gun expo coming up so guys if you want to see like the next gun which oh I know what I'm gonna do next I have got in this could be one you're probably just gonna sit there the whole time 
I've got. Can I make fun of it? You can. You <laughs> okay. can make well, fun of it happy. if you like. If you like, but there are a lot of people that really, really, really like this gun. I just got in from Airgun Depot because I'm doing a definitive guide for them. Mm -hmm. I've got the Gamo Swarm Magnum Gen 2 and 177. So yeah, I bet you we're going to get some supersonic stuff going on. Okay. And uh, we may get some good supersonic crack noise with the pellets. So uh, we're going to shut down for now. Guys, uh, why don't you come back up, Travis, and we'll switch cameras and we'll just wrap this up. And then we're going to go reset and grab, an, grab ourselves another air gun. Yeah, and don't worry about the the jittery uh, delay and stuff going on right now. That'll all be resolved. By yeah, what the, you want to do first, you take a picture and picture off. Before the expo. And then camera one. There you go. And this stuff today you'll be able to see recorded. So, yeah, so. yeah, absolutely. Don't stress about it. Yeah. It's a learning procedure right now for us. So it's the first time ever yeah. of doing this, I thought, uh, from what I was seeing back there, at least what we were getting, um, you know, I think on the output side looked pretty cool. Yes, we got we a question? question. Oh, you have a question. How many yards are you shooting? 50 yards. 50 yards. 50 yards. And in a, in a mixed breeze. Yeah, it's Right to out. left and then occasionally going Gosh, left to it's right. It's cold. It in is this, cold, yeah. In I the gotta, shade, it's uh, a little... It's probably 35, 36 ish. It's 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 chilly. It's a little colder than we're probably making it look. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> no, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Sue says it's cold. Of course, she's always cold. Yeah. Guys, that's going to be it. Stay with us for our next live. I'm going to go grab that Gamo Swarm Magnum. I'm going to unbox it. Okay. Maybe real quick, throw the scope on it. You guys can watch all that fun. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll. I'll go stand it. by the heater. Yeah. Okay. We'll be back here that's in a little bit. What gun that was. This is the Benjamin Caden. Yeah, 22. Oh, here it is. Look at that baby. Here it is. She's pretty, though. It is gorgeous. Woodstock, t Turkish walnut. Yeah, it's walnut. And, and it's got, I mean, it's got nice. It's very, very, I mean, it's, it's, it's well done. I don't know how they do it for the money, but it's a gorgeous I don't either. I mean, I paid $400 for stocks that look like this, walnut yeah. stocks, you know. So. Oh, it's adjustable power, too. I don't know why you'd turn it off a full, but if you wanted to shoot a different well, power if you're level, just plinking close shoot up, you know, you can So check out the review of this on Gateway to Air Guns, www.gatewaytoairguns.org. Uh, it's there under the grip gate. Also, you can go to the YouTube channel and catch out the grip, check out the grip review. And watch, and watch all this later, too, on the Air Gun yeah. Pro Shop. Yeah. Well, Airgun Web, Airgun Pro Airgun Shop. Web. We're going to have it around. Put it that way. Yeah. All right, guys? Yeah, there'll We're be done. links. There'll We're be done. links. We're done. Let's get so, out of here. See ya.